Hello. Hi, I'm Chef Paulette, and today we're going to be making a beautiful berry, mixed berry galette. And the galette is basically just a freeform tart. Uh, we're going to start by making fresh pie dough, and that's the kind of dough you need for a galette. It's so easy. I have in here in a food processor, there's a cup of flour, there's two teaspoons of sugar, there's a pinch of salt, and that's it. So I'm just going to run it so that the dry ingredients mix together. That's good. Take this off. And here we have six tablespoons of unsalted butter. You want your butter to be cold. So I cut this up into tablespoons. I had it in the refrigerator. I just took it out. Just place it in there. We're going to pulse the butter so that it breaks down, but it doesn't totally break down. We still want to see some chunks of butter. That's it. That's all you need to do because now you're going to add your liquid and it's going to mix a little more so it's going to break down the butter a little bit more again. Okay, so you can see how the flour flies around easily. All right, I'm going to take this off. And now here I have a quarter cup of ice cold white wine. You can use ice cold water. Um, I use wine. There's something about alcohol in a pie dough that evaporates faster and makes things a little flakier. So I'm just going to pour that right in. And then we're going to keep the food processor motor running until a dough ball comes to be. And so it's going to be a little noisy. Let it keep going. You can do a little pie meditation in the meantime. But this is the fastest way to get your dough. Here it is, it's coming together. Done. All right, so. A ball of dough came together. I'm just going to press it on the plastic into a kind of disc because we're going to be rolling this out in something roundish, just like that. And then wrap it up, put it in your refrigerator for about even just half an hour is good. Okay, so for our filling for the galette, I have some berries. Now I have a crazy mixture of things here. So we have some fresh raspberries. I'm gonna put it in the mixing bowl. And then we have some blackberries because blackberries are so big, I cut them in half. So I'm gonna throw them in there too. And then this is a strange thing. And frankly, it's a little bit of an experiment. These are frozen blueberries and I'm gonna put them in there too. I like the idea of trying some frozen and fresh together. So here's our berry mixture. And now we're gonna add some sugar. I say in our recipe about a third of a cup. I usually just eyeball it. I'm not gonna put all of this in. But these berries are gonna make a lot of juice. And so the flour will help thicken up the juice so that it's not so runny. Let's put that all spice. Now all spice has a lot of different great flavoring. So I'm just gonna put a little of this in there. This also is an experiment. <laughs> That's what you should do when you're baking. Okay, our dough has chilled. So I'm gonna take it out of the plastic. I have on the surface here some, just a dusting of some flour. So I'm gonna press it down a bit and get some flour on it so it won't stick when I start to roll it out, okay? Here's our rolling pin. Gonna start rolling it. What we want, a galette is, you know, it's a free form tart, which means it doesn't have to fit into a pan. It doesn't have to be a certain okay. size. So we have it pretty much rolled out. As you can see, the edges are kind of ragged and you're gonna see why that doesn't matter at all, but it's fine. All right, so what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna put it on our pan, which is here. I have a piece of silk hat and you can put a piece of parchment. I'm just gonna fold it in half so I can move it and then unfold it into the pan like that. Ooh. We may have more than we need, but maybe not. Let's see. It's nice to have a bunch. As you just fold over the dough like this. And it could be all different sizes on each side. That's okay. And there you have it. All right, so I have here just a beaten egg. I added a little bit of water just to make it a little thinner. You want to paint 
the dough part. And what this is gonna do is when this bakes, it'll make it a nice, beautiful golden color. I just thought, wouldn't it be great to have some whipped cream with this galette when it comes out? Some nice whipped cream. And here's what you're supposed to do when you're done. Mmm. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh my goodness, look at that. Bubbling wonder. Bubbling golden wonder. It may still be a little too warm, but I'm gonna cut it anyway. That's really, really good. <laughs> Make this at home.